Hi there, Hugh here, and welcome to my series of videos on this very interesting software, Ant Pugilist. And I'm just kind of learning everything myself because it is a whole world of uh, learning here, like I said in my email. But uh, we're going to learn this together, and before I go any further, I just want to say thank you very much for being one of my subscribers, or being a very important one of my subscribers. Thank you very much, and uh, I aim to deliver value on everything I do. So let's go ahead and start doing that. As you know here, what we do is we put in some keywords. So if I were to just think of, let's say, you know, my uh, my music niche, so I'm going to go mastering, mixing, mastering and mixing, music production, CD mastering, and for a pre-modifier or a post-modifier, I think for a post-modifier I might say online because you, you see like mastering online, mixing online, mastering and mixing online, so on and so forth. Um, I put, might, put, hmm, might put music here, but that wouldn't work with this one because that already has music in it. So I might try, let me just say get rid of this and just go, let's say music. It's an experiment music mastering um, in fact I could get rid of CD mastering and then put CD in here let's say like hip-hop um, Christian is really big believe it or not um, Christian music um, Let's, oh, let's just go for that. I'm not going to use the single and plural because masterings and mixings is not doesn't help me at all. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. And then after that, I'm going to give you a little um, primer on these concepts that we have here. It does take a, sex, uh, a second for things to load first. I'm just going to uh, pause, and I'll be right back. I will say that, um, you know, I kind of skipped the opening segment of the software where you have to log into Google AdWords. So you'll need to have a Google AdWords account proper, you know, which means, you know, you have to have set up an account with Google f to do AdWords. Now, that doesn't mean you have to go out and put ads or start paying for ads, it just means that you have to be able to log in to Google to an AdWords account so that you can use that Google keyword tool. And I've told you in some of my other training that there there is a free external Google keyword tool, but they only give you a hundred results with that unless you log in to the actual the one that's actually tied to your account that you can log into, then you can get hundreds of search results. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm not sure if it's, I think it may be still calculating some of these. It takes a little time to calculate, but probably some of this stuff is just no good. I mean, it's, they're just not great. Like these three don't look good. No, you don't mix you don't mix CDs online. That's not even an appropriate keyword, which is probably why it's zero. Hip hop mixing online. Um, Christian music mixing online. There's just nobody searching for that. Okay, so that's kind of a silly term. But according to my friend Mr. Oz what we're looking for is phrases that have BT2% above 50 and a decent size of um, search results in the phrase. So obviously mastering is, is good and that's one, as you probably know, if you follow my training, that's one that I'm kind of trying to get after here, which I don't have any results in yet for my mastering website. I'm number three for mastering and mixing. 
But for mastering alone, I'm not even on the radar. I used to be number three for that, but they slapped me. So we're working on that. So um, the the software, of course, this is a very thin niche, and I need to really start um, branching out to some other keywords probably, but there's just not that much for my particular niche. You can see that the actually the best one here is actually mastering alone and mixing alone, which I'm not sure. Let me see what my SERPs are for. Okay, so you can see I'm tracking my SERPs here for mastering for my main money site. I really don't have anything in Google right now. I, I am on the third page of both Bing and Yahoo for mastering. Um, mastering and mixing though I'm number three on Google see so again this is probably not the greatest comparison for you in your niche or whatever it is but I'm we'll just this is just how I start okay I'm gonna learn this as we get through it but I'm using my own business to do it so what we have here is we have like broad phrase and exact for traffic so this is 1,500,000 so we can look and it's exactly what they have here so it's 1,500,823,000 it's not really necessary for you to know how to manipulate the search results personally because the software actually interprets all of that as you can see, it shows us the amount of results for the broad match, the phrase match, and the exact match. Of course, there's filters down when you get to the exact match. The exact match means they it's based on what the person typed in that they're searched that they searched on. So that means eighteen thousand and one hundred people last month typed in the word mastering and click the search button. 1,000 people typed in mastering online. But, you know, 1,500,000 people typed in some term that contained this word mastering. That's what's meant by a broad, a broad match. And in the case of a one word keyword, it should be very close between the broad and phrase really because it's basically the same thing so it's like this is 1.5 million and this is 1.2 million so it's technically it's pretty much the same thing so it's not again we're not looking at the the greatest um, example here but it is my field so that's what I look at let's look at the uh, the mixing keyword here and we've got um, even more <clears throat> even more than the um, than the mastering except for the exact there's only about half of the exact you know only half of the people just put mixing in and who knows what they were talking about they could have been talking about cake mixing for all we know <laughs> mastering probably is going to be more related for sure to a music product um, there's there's you know a lot of people do look for mixing but I think mastering is a bigger money outlet so again that's a good word that I need to go after these other multiple um, well here here's Oz's rule of thumb okay he says that you have to figure out like what kind of volume you want on your site. Let's so say if you want 10,000 visitors per month on your website, then you have to target a keyword that has 10 times that size. So it would be 100,000 in the phrase match. So, you know, it's definitely quite enough here in mixing and mastering that we could go after that.
So this is a way of actually reducing the number of results that you might get. So the thing we want to do here just for a moment is think of another niche that might be better to make a display for you. Let me see. Okay, so what I've done actually is design a new search on a term that might be a little more fruitful in terms of the type of results that we're looking for and won't confine me to my kind of limited world of mixing and mastering. So I'll step out of my comfort zone. Actually, it's not at all because I love science fiction. So I decided to go with that. We'll see what we come up with. you got science fiction monster, fantasy, outer space, horror. And then on the pre-modifiers, we've got scary, cool, and best. And the post-modifiers, we've got movies, books, TV shows, novels, and comic books. So what we could end up with is something like scary, science fiction movies, cool, monster, TV shows, uh, best fantasy novels, you know, that type of thing, plus all the singular occurrences of each seed niche as well. So hopefully Google will allow me to go ahead and run these results. And I'm not going to use the plural, singular plural modifiers because we don't want science fictions or monsters movies. We just leave it the way it is. So here we go. Okay, and we've got some results back. And they're not all done yet. As you can see, this is still running here. I think that it's going to continue to do some calculations and continue to pull back results. And I don't see anything green yet, but maybe it has to... Okay, there we go. We got <clears throat> um, science fiction and science fiction movies are showing up as um, good on this. I think that means because it's got a pretty good amount of um, phrase volume and a pretty high BT 2%. Now what that BT 2% is, according to Oz's uh, formula, What we're doing is that we're adding and subtracting the um, amounts of the three types. So basically what we're doing is we're thinning out the numbers based on, you know, removing, basically removing the broader matches. Okay, so I just did the math on that just to make sure that I kind of had a handle on what was going on here. So... The phrase match for science fiction is 673,000. The exact match is 60,500. So uh, the when you subtract the exact from the phrase, it equals 612,500, which is really not that much um, less, but yeah, it's 10%. So what we're going to do then is take the... Uh, the result of that equation and divide it by the original phrase match result which <clears throat> and the result of that is 0 0.91 so if we go back here they express that in terms of a percentage because then what that is actually times 100 so that's how you get it as a percentage so this is how they show it's a 91 percent BT2 percent. Okay, so what we're doing is we're kind of div subtracting that volume of search traffic of the exact phrase from the phrase um, figure and finding out then the ratio of what remains to the entire thing. I really don't think you should, you know, s spend your time trying to figure that out. I kind of wish I didn't because I'd rather just take Oz's advice and if it's over 50 then that's a good indicator. Okay, so if we've got a um, pretty good 
amount of, of volume. So like, as I mentioned before, I'm looking for at least 10 times the volume in the phrase match of the amount of traffic that I want to get to the website. So with this kind of a volume, which is 673,000, well, I don't know if I could get 67,000 people a month, but that would be nice. That's, uh, I mean, I can probably get 10,000 and be happy, right? <laughs> that's that's pretty decent. So uh, there's a pretty big piece of the pie there in the BT2. The indicator is pretty high. Okay, we're, we're going to work on this stuff as we go. This is just the first video, so I'm going to be using this and applying it as we go on. But what these things over here will do is allow you to get rid of results or just hide results that you don't want. So let's see if I'm going to go a... Uh, First of all, I want the phrase max uh, maximum value has got to be, let's say, 45,000. And I apply it. Well, look at that. I am not sure where all those came from. They must have been uh, hiding. Because they look pretty good. We've all, they've all got. Um, see, there you go. There's your hidden gold, right? It just, it just popped right up. <laughs> okay, very nice. In fact, I'm pretty thrilled about this because you can see. Look at these. Uh, exa even just the exact matches on some of these are pretty, pretty big. Twelve thousand. 14,000, 27,000. Well, starting here at 60,000 in best horror movies, these have pretty decent uh, search results. So if I wanted to get four, five, six thousand, um, I mean, even more because what we're really looking for is the phrase match. So I mean, 600,000, 200,000, that's quite a lot of traffic that we could tap into. And look, these even have more, you know, horror, horror movies, fantasy, monster. We could go in a lot of directions here with this. Outer space, looking good. Fantasy movies, science fiction movies. And, you know, you might know I do have a website about science fiction that I don't play with too much, but I've used it in a couple of the, two, the uh, webinars that I've done. So um, this is how we do it. Okay, and this is how we find our hidden gold. And this is just the first part, the brainstorming. Now we're going to go on to the niche insider and the other type of prospecting, the Facebook and Twitter, which is very cool. I didn't even mention that before. That's part of the reason why I really liked uh, this program and we'll get into that but I think I've done you know I've been able to show you where the hidden gold comes from and how we find it so far and as we go through I will continue to go through each section of this but right now I'm going to go ahead and end this as the first video in the sequence and I hope that it helped you get something uh, out of this and uh, please drop me a line at support at instantcontentcurator.com if you have any questions or comments. Thanks a lot and I will talk to you soon.